Today I'll be showing you how to create a professional image without a studio and on a low budget. Hey, my name's Carla Ko. I've been a filmmaker and a creative professional for seven years. And on this channel, I'll be talking about everything creative, content and business. Today, I want to show you that you don't need big budgets to create professional looking content, whether that's images or video. Before I got into the industry, I didn't have much access to studios or a lot of equipment. Instead, I was just buying my gear bit by bit. It was a camera, then a light, maybe a tripod and a microphone and so on. But the equipment really doesn't matter. The art direction and style for this photo is quite minimal, but it's also quite a popular look with brands right now. A lot of designers also use this look to show off their mock-ups. I've done work like this in big studios where they have a lot of equipment and a lot more space, but all those things just help speed up the process. And in fact, you can actually achieve the same look with very little. So let's get into it. There's three main steps, the setup, the shoot, the edit. For the setup, all I used was a few sheets of A1 color paper, a light stand, an LED light that I've had for about 10 years, and a cheap diffuser that you can get on Amazon for about five pounds. Normally, if I were to do this in a studio, I'd probably be using a large Colorama paper backdrop roll. But since I'm doing this on my kitchen floor, so that's where I had most empty wall space, I'm just sticking the A1 sheets of paper next to each other since I didn't have a sheet that was long enough. I'm also using a diffuser to soften the light since I didn't want any harsh shadows and I wanted a very evenly lit look. I threw in a cactus to balance the image and add some visual interest, and that's about it for the setup. Step two, shoot. Try to get it as close to the final image in camera as possible. It'll look the best that way and you'll save a lot of time in post. Step three, the edit. I'm not going to be doing too much when it comes to the retouching. The main things I'll be focusing on is extending the background, fixing the horizon line, removing any blemishes like fixing the seam where the papers join and probably evening out the colors a little. The main things you need to know for this part is how to use the clone stamp, the spot removal tool, the content aware scale and a low opacity brush to even out the colors. Crop the photo how you like it, and you're pretty much done. This would work great for product shots or just showing some of your design mock-ups, but the whole point of this was to show you that you really don't need much equipment to get that professional look, and with a bit of creativity and resourcefulness, you can stretch any budget and make it look like you had 10 times more. If you have any questions or you just want to connect with me, you can find the links in the description below, and if you enjoyed the video or found any value in it, if you could do me a favor and give me a like, a comment, and subscribe, just to let me know. More content on business, creativity, and content to follow, See you next time.